The next step in the freezer challenge is to evaluate whether running freezers can run at slightly higher temperatures in an effort to save energy. Most freezers do not need to be kept at the lowest temperature the equipment is capable of obtaining. For instance, existing technology allows the safe and effective storage of dehydrated DNA and RNA samples at room temperature without degradation for extended periods of time in a process called room temperature sample storage, or RTSS. There are many advantages to storing samples as warm as possible. Did you know that raising the temperature of a freezer from negative 80 to negative 70 degrees can save up to 30% of its energy use? Raising the temperature of one ultra-low temperature freezer by 10 degrees saves on average the energy used by one standard or negative 20 degrees Celsius freezer. For most biomolecules and many microbial cultures, negative 70 degrees Celsius is adequate for months to a few years. Raising the freezer temperature can lengthen the life of the freezer's compressor, reducing the frequency of freezer purchases, and save energy. A list of sample types and the temperature range at which they can be stored safely can be found at the link on screen. Students from the Office of Sustainability can support you in this temperature tuning process. Contact information is provided at the end of this video. You can find the Temperature Tuning Retirement Survey at the link on screen or on the Sustainable UF Freezer Challenge website. For any questions or concerns regarding the Freezer Challenge, please contact at the information below.